YouTube, it's your boy again, Chris here, back with some Chris Wrestling news today, you guys. So today, you guys, it's basically some news regarding Bow Wow, well, former rapper Bow Wow and rapper uh, Soulja Boy. And Bow Wow and Soulja Boy, you know, they. <clears throat> this is what it basically says, you guys. Soulja Boy and Davey Stars have been... Um, Getting quite of a bit heat from with each other. Randy Orton uh, really stepped up to the form, you know, to the the famous rapper Soldier Boy when he said that when Soldier Boy uh, tweeted and I quote that the rap game is faker than WWE, and that's when Randy Orton, you know, you know, took you know took some really you know took that really you know heart you know took that really to heart. Um, so also, um, uh, heel pops chair shots, um, a little reality thing, um, spoke with Bow Wow, who is also very interested in making a real jump into professional wrestling. Uh, you know, he is currently training with, um, former WWE star, WWE Hall of Famer, Rikishi, uh, who is putting respect on the business. Bow Wow, uh, claimed that he is called, he is he called up Soldier Boy and told him to lay off the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Um, this is what uh, Bow Wow said, and I quote, uh, I had to call Soldier Boy. I said, Soldier, you made fun of Randy Orton. This guy has 6.5 million fans. He's not one of those guys that needs your retweets. Randy Orton is a superstar. He, he's there. Leave him alone. Go after the Miz. Oh, go after the Miz? Wow. Uh, but I guess maybe Miz needs some of that heat, probably. Um, I know most of you like the Miz. Most of you don't like the Miz. Uh, but then again, it says right here, well, we'll have to see if Soulja Boy goes after the Miz. That is an interesting choice for Bow Wow to make uh, because the Miz is wrestling another rapper, Bad Bunny, at WrestleMania 37 within two weeks. Uh, and we'll, you know, we're going to have to see, you know, what uh, Soulja Boy will say, will say now. Um, I have not been a fan of Soulja Boy, um, his music or anything. I heard one of his songs like back in, I think it was, what was it, 2006 or something like that. Um, most of you may know it. Y'all probably heard it. If you haven't, um, check out, uh, Sol Soldier Boy music and you'll see right now he's like 30 something when he made, when he made this one song, um, I think it was called Crank That or something, but this was like, this was like he was 16 at the time. And then Bow Wow, we, you know, we mainly, I mean, most of you, if you know Bow Wow, if not, uh, search him up, Bow Wow. Um, you know, he, he's a pretty, he's a pretty, um, cool guy. He played in a couple of movies. Um, unlike Soldier Boy, never played in any movies that I know of. But then again, you know, you guys, I mean, it, it, it's just, it's just real crazy of how this guy, you know, seeing how the rap game is going right now. But most of you listen to it, most of you not. But then again, you know, Mainly, I just like the beats. I really don't like hearing people because when I'm driving, I just really like hearing the beats of the music. That's it. But um, also, you guys got some more news on here that's regarding, um, where is it? It was regarding Edge. On last night's Friday Night Smackdown, we seen the rated R superstar Edge. I mean, he, like... Like he got like he was so he was so upset that his wife Beth Phoenix was you know was like you know was like wow like and it said that she can't believe it and so um like it says right here uh Edge ended SmackDown by going on by full by going full on heel this was a turn that started at fast lane. But Ed made it clear in the situation this week. Uh, WWE Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix was watching her husband on Friday Night SmackDown. Because you know, if you did not, if you guys did not know, um, Beth Phoenix, uh, former uh, women's champion, uh, she is one of the commentators with 
uh, with uh, with former WWE superstar uh, Wade Barrett on NXT's commentary. Uh, I didn't know if you guys knew that or not. I was surprised myself when, you know, when I actually seen the camera point over there. I was like, oh, that's Beth Phoenix. But um, so it says here, WWE Hall of Fame Beth Phoenix was watching her husband on SmackDown. Uh, she couldn't believe, you know, what he did on the blue brand as she tweeted out in a surprise and said to Edge, what did you do? Well, and I quote, what did you do? Uh, Edge Universal title opportunity at WrestleMania is now a triple threat match. It's understandable that he doesn't like uh, that at all. He might uh, have some explaining to do when he gets home as well. So I guess Beth didn't know that Edge was going to snap like this on SmackDown. So, of course, as she said right there, Edge is going to have some explaining to do when he gets home. So... Edge is def Edge is definitely wanting to wrestle like like he like he was freaking uh ten years ago, fifteen years ago. He wants to be that guy. Edge had Edge is not that guy that we seen when he returned and faced Randy Orton. This Edge right here is a it is that psych that psychotic Edge to where he would put a chair on your head and bam, concerto. But, you know, I mean, it's really, you know, it, it, it's really, you know, it's really surprising, guys. I, um, you know, I think that Edge, def he definitely want he definitely wants his opportunity to win the title. And I think um, that he, uh, that he should, you know, deserve this. So, I, we definitely got to see. So, let me know what you all think. Give me your, um, you know, give me your opinions over... You know, over Soldier Boy, uh, you know, messing with Randy Orton, saying how dirty is Faker. Then a lot of other superstars. Um, I know one other one other superstar was Alexa Bliss. Believe it or not, um, you know, she took you know some words to Soldier Boy as well. Um, I don't know what his deal is or anything like that. We understand that professional wrestling is not what it used to be, but then again, you have to look at it from a side to where there are right now there are children that are actually watching this and you know it's it's not like you know it's not like i mean us as adults we watch it us like me 25 people like you know there are other people like 30 40 50 60 they still watch it because you know they have a passion for that sport no matter if it's WWE, AEW. Ring of Honor, Ohio Valley Wrestling, MLW, um, and so on and so forth. New, well, New Japan Pro Wrestling, um, and so on and so forth, you guys. So I mean, you know, it's you know, it's pretty surprising, you know, how people, you know, take you know, take to professional wrestling nowadays. But you know, a sport is a sport. I mean, most people don't like professional wrestling because they don't do moves as they, you know, as they would like do for real. Then we got, you know, then of course we got, we got uh, NFL, you know, we got people getting hurt over there. We got people in basketball, they get hurt, um, you know, because wrestlers, they can jump off the top rope and then they can sprain their kneecap or something like that, but land in the wrong way. Same way with football players, they can get their leg tackled and bam, they're out. Uh, Le you know, we've seen LeBron James, you know, he tore his ACL, any, any sport, you will actually hurt yourself even even if sometimes we may think at we may think it as a um we may think it as you know something to write somebody on tv but sometimes those injury does uh really happen people people can't fake and get covid or whatever you know like keith lee but he actually did have covid so let me know what you all think about my video today you guys i really like uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for good luck, you guys. Make sure you comment down below in the, you know, in the, um, in the comment box. I love you guys. I appreciate everything that you do. Thank you all for watching Crush Us TV here on YouTube.com.